Hey Style Squad, I'm Tabby, and this video is all about bookish, whimsy, fashion love. I started working at a library about a year ago, and I really wanted to add little touches of bookish love to my wardrobe, see if people would notice and appreciate it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they think you're really cool if you're working books as earrings and you work at a library. They just think that's amazing, which is fun. Um, but, on my first day of work, I asked my boss, you know, what's our dress code? And he said, business casual, no t-shirts, and I'm like, okay, so I can't wear the literary t-shirt, which was fine because I hadn't bought any, any yet. So I was like, what other ways can I incorporate things from books into my looks? And the answer was jewelry, scarves, mugs. All that good stuff. So one of my favorite places to shop is Etsy. When I was browsing Etsy for certain things, um, I knew there were some books that I really wanted to wear things from. Um, I came across a shop called The Clever Clove, and a lovely woman named Heidi runs it. And no, she's not sponsoring this video, but you should check her out. Um, and she ha and she has a really cool enamel pen series, and it's called Bookish, and it's called Book Nooks. Uh, beloved Dwellings of Literature, and that's exactly what they are. So there are maybe seven pins in the series. They're all based around, you know, buildings from books. There's uh, Animal Farm. There's Hogwarts. Um, the four I ended up getting uh, tied back to books from my childhood. Things that I love and um, stay true and near to my heart. So, and then from there, finding those four pins that I wanted to base my looks around and find other things. Um, I bought things, I made something for each of the four looks in this lookbook because I love making things um, and I love working with my hands. So, the pins I found and that I wanted to own was Pemberley from Pride and Prejudice. I love Jane Austen, so this was a must. Sherlock Holmes. You know, his apartment door. I grew up reading Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes. I will read spin-offs of Sherlock Holmes. Um, I just love mysteries. And Anne of Green Gables was a big part of my childhood, so I got Green Gables. And the last one I got is not exactly like a dwelling. It's more of um, a furniture piece. I loved Narnia, and it probably really inspired my love of fantasy later. So I have the wardrobe. And so these are these were my starting off points and I kind of then bought different items, made items, and then based my outfits around that. So without any further ado, enjoy the outfits. <laughs> 